targeting a target that shoots back at you. Think it's virtual reality? <laughs> Think again. It is ultra reality. They are locked and ready. How ready? Watch. We're not talking compressed air paintball guns here. Everything operates the exact same way as a real gun because it is a real gun. I need a Glock and a SIG, please. All right. All right, I've got you charged up and ready to go. This is a real 9mm Glock, but it has been modified for safety. The guns are unable to fire, and this is actually a key component. Even if we wanted to load a live round, it's not going to fire that live round. And the ammo is almost the real deal, too. Blue and red tip bullets as each fighter leaves their own mark all over their opponent's protective gear. Wow. And oh, you bet, you sure feel it. It stings. Yeah. Check it. It can leave behind one of these bright red welts. You're going to keep that one for a while, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All from non-lethal training ammunition, as it's called, up until now restricted only to be used by the military and law enforcement, but now you can fire it, too. Drop the magazine, clear the gun, put the magazine back in, charge it around, and you're ready to go. Even though these are real weapons and non-lethal ammunition, we still treat them as ammunition and real weapons. Gentlemen, let's walk out this way. Fighters coming through, please make a move. If you run out of ammo, that is not an excuse to throw up your hands. You evade and survive. That's the real world. And you will never guess where in the world these fights are going down. The Las Vegas Strip, the gaming capital of the world, and just blocks away from the bright lights of the Strip. On the other side of the 15 freeway, dimmer lights as another kind of game is on. Blue team, are you ready? Blue team, are you ready? We're going to see some people doing gunfights that are force on force. We're going to see some people that are going to go hands. Uh, you never know when a fight's going to break out. Fights break out here all the time, and the crowd goes crazy. It's all part of a brand new sport where gunfighting slams into MMA. Mixing shootouts with guns, and when all of the ammo is gone, the shootout could even lead to down and dirty MMA fighting. If you're a gun guy and you don't have any hand skills or vice versa, you're really not complete as a as a fighter. The challenge to be the complete fighter. Take the far side behind the barrel. And now you are in the arena. Charge your weapon. Loading the chamber. Are you ready? Here we go. for cover behind those black barrels. Firing at the opponent. Duck, duck incoming. Taking cover as the round sit by. Reloading. Targeting, waiting. Squeezing off one more round. Then three minutes later, the siren gets all over. You guys hold your weapons? Whoo, hard, man. Oh, man, that was crazy. Hard, but fun. <sighs> it's very realistic. Um, obviously, it's not live rounds, but it's, uh, get your heart rate going. They count up the red marks. Holy cow, man, he took some hits. <laughs> Direct hits from the simulation. The one who takes the most hits loses. Blue has nine, and red has six. Winner is red. It's a battle that even brings brings flashbacks for this combat-tested veteran. 25 years Army, four and a half years in the uh, Middle East. It definitely gets your heart rate going. And even more incredible, the main event on this fight card, a female police officer going at it with a tactical ops expert. It turns out to be to be an all-out hand-to-hand fight. Look at this, huh? She charges him. He slams her down. Nobody giving up in this one. I respect her a ton, but at the end of the day, there is no gender. You're going to come at me, I'm going to come at you, and one of us is going home. And in the end, two warriors hug it out. For now, from Las Vegas, Ed Laskos, Fox 11 News. That is amazing.